Welcome everyone back to Servarium. Now we're left off. I mean, I actually got myself, you know, this beautiful thing over here too. Despite the fact that, uh, you know... Give me a second, I almost vomited for a bit. Some shit is smoking up over there and I haven't realized that before. Maybe it right was, but I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like, uh... I mean, last time when we left off, I mean, I actually got myself this beautiful gun over here too. And hey, I mean, it sure is quite something. Yeah, sure, and I'm just right here to let the workshop a little too, because I got myself like two modifiers on it as well too. Unfortunately, as well here for the four and I mean, I got to require something else, you know, and it's just to uh, slap it on, right? The thing is, I mean, like, you know this thing over here? This, uh, what's it called? Yeah, there you go, the, the red heat tactical friend. And I, I, I can't, you know? <laughs> the only thing unless I can put over here is at least some kind of muzzle. Like this thing. I'm not sure, I mean, if this if this will, like, say, be uh, historically accurate. Because, you know, like, the thing is, you know, like, uh, the with the uh, concept that I remember with the this uh, this AK over here is that, uh... So, when the Soviet Union was to me, they were trying to see to make something stink as hell, but could have, if it worked as efficient as a fully as a full rifle, they developed, like, this thing over here in front of the rifle as well, too. So, everything here is still the same, the regular AK, but this thing over here, you know, is just to, uh... To make sure you know shit hits, shit hits where it's supposed to hit, you know. And now we have to, and, and now I mean, now that I got my hand on this beautiful thing over here, I absolutely love it. Sure, I mean, like there's like the all, also this one over here, the PP2000. Actually, should I get myself like one of these ones over here too? Feel like I feel like I should eventually. Eventually, I suppose. Regardless, let's get a move on. Right, what else they got over here too? Cause yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, the F and FNC is a beautiful rifle, but I mean, I, I mean, I don't feel myself, you know, ready for set that time, you know. So yeah, I got ourselves like a bit. For fuck's sake, just never mind. So yeah, it's level two profile. I also got myself like a bit of a, like say, uh, the hint on someone people say, let's say to just uh cut off some background stuff and just uh, so Savarium can work out better, right? So far as I can tell, I mean, for one, you know, it works out all well, but me, you know, the most important thing, like, if it's this thing, you know? Right. The Remington 700. It's a good sniper rifle, too, I have to say. But if, uh, I mean, this one over here is good enough to give people mental breakdowns, you know? Well, yeah, let's have a look at this thing over here we got here so far, though, too, right? Because so, so far I got, like, this over here. I still need to suppress this bullshit. And I also need to, let's say, uh... uh I mean, this, this would be, like, a dream come true if I ever got myself something. But for that, I mean, I need this thing over here. Kind of wonder how the, how the hell I'm gonna get this thing, you know? But... I don't know. Let's fight. Gotta win, and then we can see what I what, what we can do over here. So far, I mean, as a level two, I mean, like this is little dinky AK over here can be my best bet. Sure, I mean, you can be able to see the, uh, the equivalence of this gun over here, which I mean is a submachine gun, mostly used by bots. At first, I had to admit it all too, man. I always thought like this gun over here would like uh, be an absolute. Well, no, like what I put it. I thought it at first would be like a piece of shit, but. Turns out I was wrong. Turns out I was wrong. Probably one of the best guns I've ever fiddled with so far. I'd be considered like one of the weakest submachine guns, I don't know. But it does, you know, spew up blood pretty well too. And this one, I should probably take this one off for a spin more often as well too, right? But on the bright side, I mean, I got this over here, so hooray. Perfect. But I don't know. I'll probably save this one over here for some of the time, right? Maybe just keep this one as it is for now. Should make it a bit ridiculous. And sure, you got also this one over here. That's gonna be. Well, I mean, I thought at first I could probably keep this one over here, but silencers could probably be a more a better fitting, I suppose. And again, I to give myself something that would be a good fit over here. Man, I'd be unstoppable. Eh. 
I mean, at least I at least can only think about it, you know. But hey, I mean, at least I get myself like the uh, the some hard to get pieces over here for the uh, I mean for the PP2000. Then hey, <coughs> then hey, I mean it should basically mean that I'm on the right track, I suppose. They also uh the shotgun over here too, which there's a big boom, you know. Oh yeah, look at that. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, indeed. Sure, I mean, of course, the shotgun is used more for sporting, for, let's say, sporting shooting, but, you know, whatever works best, am I right? The ironic thing over here is that, uh, nah, I don't really know, know nothing ironic about this one over here. Good Christ. At least, you know, this is making it look more like a rifle in that case. Which would then be... Eh, uh, some that, you know, doesn't... Yeah, maybe this, uh, at least for the... Give a nice hint to it. <laughs> and now just this. <coughs> And I should be unstoppable. Not really. Not really, indeed. I much prefer to save like the uh, the big one for at least for some. So let's say some uh, some good gun, you know, something big, something potent, like uh, this beautiful gun over here too. I even feel like it finally. Slaughter at the uh, Tarakonovsky Fort. Perfect. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I feel a bit dizzy too, but that ain't stopping me. Send us in, send us in. Send us in for the kill, yes! Do it! Do it now! Four better than mine will ever be, you know. I've uh, pointed more than over here. See? Look at that. Let's get him. Oh yeah, let's get him. Alright. I got a bot. Bot. Forget about it. I think I got some of the drop on some of them over here. I know, but hey. Alright, some boxes there. I should keep an eye for some snacks. Uh, okay. right. At least he's made his boss friend, so yeah. Beg your pardon? Level 3 if I keep up with this shit. And again, I can't do
dropping it from here? Ah, you motherfucker! <laughs> right, you know. Of a bitch. Ah, forget about that guy. Yeah, if I keep that guy that guy can repeat me, I'm not uh Yeah, ain't gonna be any fun, you know. I don't think so. Now, doesn't it? Cabron. Alright. We should probably get vent over here now, now that our friend of yours should be gone for the time being. Well. And I can see why I mean how these guys are doing. So yeah, I want this. And yeah, I'll make your way off the other side. I mean, like you're heading this way. Son of a bitch! What the fuck is he doing over there?
Let's get him. Asshole. You better run, I'd say. You better fucking run. But so far, so good. Okay, then, alright, so far, so good. But yeah, man, I can re see this so far. If this thing was a sniper rifle, then I swear to God, I would have gotten by now. That piece of shit bot! Well, in that case... Ah, shit. He's in here, I'm, I'm sure of it. Muffin. Yeah. 
Ah. the edge of vomit. There we go. Victory. Even though the little... Wait, what the fuck is this thing? Alright. Uh, you had so much just to get myself a little thing, isn't it? Fair enough. Fair enough, I'd say. So... Alright, so we got myself a level 3 of the scavenger, so... We got ourselves some rough gloves, reinforced padded jacket, reinforced pants, mounting helmet, SOCOM 16, and so on. Perfect. Alright. Alright then. I don't... There you go. No. So, yeah. What else you got ourselves? We're gonna level 2. And the Renaissance. And the French Settlers. Renaissance doesn't offer, let's say, something too big for the time being. But, still. I was thinking of going to level up on the fringe settlers, I suppose. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know right now. Right, here we go. So yeah, there you go. On the fringe settlers. Bit of a lag at times. Hella annoying a bit, but hey, I'm not complaining all that much. Right, right, right. So I do know at least. Uh, yeah, I know all that. I've seen it checked already, but still. So yeah, this module over here, the KS23 long barrel. Uh. I'm not gonna sell because I mean, it kind of worked a little hard to, uh, in order to get that beautiful thing. But yeah. Shit. I don't know. Let's see about let's see the uh, the VZ58. I mean, that these dudes over here have. Sure, I know I did a bit of a shooting with that thing you know, a bit a bit before. It's pretty good, I mean, I have to say, it's pretty good. Although the, the funny part is that, let's say, the uh, the clothing pieces are the equivalent of a lower tier weapon and price that I'm talking about. Right. So, yeah. We have French settlers. And then the Renaissance Army. Should probably focus on probably get myself some AK or something of the matter, you know? 
probably. And yes, I like these two, these two the most. I like shooting, fighting, killing, winning. Just as much as losing and so on goes. Hooray. Hmm. Yeah, these things you have to up to two hundred. many things to think about with such a small time in order to get some of them running and whatnot, right? The funny thing that I see about see this gun over here, at least I can put like the one of the uh, the rail mount thing here, but eh probably that wouldn't work all that well I suppose. So what else we got here to work on right now? Because I can at least get myself the FNFNC, right? Look at that beautiful thing. Look at it. It's beautiful. Although, I mean, not despite the fact that I get in my get blech, that I get my that I didn't get myself much action on this beautiful thing over here. At least I managed to get myself by this thing at least. And then time comes with this thing out in combat and see how well things are go, I suppose. This thing will be too good wearing gloves. This thing you wear gloves, wear boots. Hmm. Lightweight. I think I mean by this one here right now, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. Despite the fact that. Try to always have a bandage or a med kit. Stop the bleeding, it will save your life. Except when you shot with a TOZ rifle. Now that motherfucker over there is like one to one hit kill. Essentially. Besides, I mean, I that thing you know, let's say what the scope would uh, be quite ideal now, wouldn't it? But. This is clearly gonna go well, well, isn't it? No, I need to tell because I already need. No, they're gonna go well. They're going up ahead. Alright, I got to try that bad, that again. What? Ah, uh, seems like I got our friend back here again. with those bots. Pop, pop, pop. 
Adam leaves. Ah, uh, the enemy. Not a lot of places. We're about to ditch. Now let's see. Not even below 50, but still I'll take it. Nobody wins. Yeah. Until somebody just poked out their head out the window. And boom, indeed. However. Probably a bit of a sign that I definitely need, might need a new mouse at some point, or... Right on the target. Uh, finally. I just got the same. Yeah, you know, for too much. Fucking bots. Never mind then. If I just get that up there then. And yeah. Boy. You didn't know the latest sites with my advantage, but hey. What's going on? He's been killed by a bot. Jesus Christ. Nope, nothing here. The sector is all clear. Ah, ka, ka, shut the fuck up.
fucking bot scared the crap out of me. Thanks. Good now, doesn't it? <laughs> Damn thing, you know. Yeah, I might definitely in the new mouth at some point. Thing, you know, just froze up and I had to reboot the game again. Oh well. Shouldn't be, let's say, too surprised on that. But anyway, let's, uh, and as end. This asshole running around free of charge. That's a free of shit, I'll tell you now. Again, I mean, this game doesn't crash, I mean, like, we should basically uh, win, for the most part. To admit, I mean, I kind of really miss playing, uh, I really feel like playing, let's say, Stalker. <laughs>
amazing. I mean, I swear, I mean, this clip, but I should have shot him. But no, I didn't. Ah, uh, well. The fuck with that. Well, what a shame. And what I got? Victory. Perfect. I got attachment journal too. What the fuck is this thing? A Glock 17 with a screw thread. Okay. No, no. A Glock 17 attached with a screw thread? Why? What the fuck do you. What the fuck is this thing? Like this over here, right? Right, so. Here's the games we installed the Glock 17 Desert. The regular Glock, Glock Legend, Glock 17 Halloween, da 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 da. Because, yeah, I mean, at least over here, equipment number four, and there is the Glock. What do you mean? There are, ugh, there are these two ones. Alright, so you gotta see the regular TT33, 417, PN, Mauser, Jargen, Colt, CZ. There's a, there's a, a Glock. Oh, that's why. He has one of the little red star thingies on the top. Sheesh. Oh, the hell I'm gonna get one of those. I have no clue. But regardless, well, too, maybe she has some of the updated if I'm really lucky. Yeah, well. Hmm. Well, I mean, this actually looked good. It would look pretty good, to be honest. And again, if I ever had this thing, you know, if I ever had, put this thing on if I felt like it. But no. <laughs> now this would look uh, something complete, but no. Uh, no. So yeah. So oh, yeah, indeed. You're yeah, dealing this one over here with the rest of this thing is what it is. Hmm, I don't know. Not really all that sure to be honest. Best, you know, sniper rifle that I would that I'll be looking at right now would be something like this one, the SV98. Carbines here too. I got almost all of them. For now, that is. Shotguns. They are what you see. What else I got? Machine guns. Assault rifles too. Hold on a sec. Yeah, too late for that, to be honest. Uh, soy. Oh, it looks like it's like so. Soy has leveled up to to five. <laughs> right. And we passed, you know, the uh, the waiting time. So clearly, you know what that means. Reboot the damn thing. We really wish, you know, sea land would be a good thing, but the ping, you know, it's just abysmal. 
So at least you know, like this would be like a a quick pop in, do some action, and and done. At least for the most part. I'm sure for this one. Wait a moment. Rotation, upper. Ah. Ha ha ha. Would you look at that? Alright, so rotation. Not that, you dope. Right. Oh, I see how it is. Alright. I see how it is. See how it is for the most part. There we go. That's one taken care of. And I'm looking at this complete slob. And you know, this thing would be actually just remove this one for now. Alright. I really, really do like you know, the, uh, this one over here. About this one over here. There we go. There we go. Oh. Something like. Yeah, this looks good. No, thank you. This is as small as it can be for now, too. Alright. Seems about right. Or as good as it could be for the time being now. Or other than that. Wait a moment. Remove this one. There we go. For fuck's sake! Alright, how the hell am I gonna go about doing this one now? I did about this a good while ago. I'm somewhat familiar with it. Seems about right. For the most part, at least. Figures might as well just be uh, going ghosting for now. Alright, and now for the, the pants, at least. Over here, and Jesus Christ. Been waiting here for, for over two minutes, for over four minutes. Wait time, my dick hole. Right, wrong shit with this thing over here. I'm gonna get myself on this thing. This one. You know, one thing, one thing at a time. Go ghost on this one. Let's see. Wish. <laughs> Something at least about here on the knee pad seems about right. Probably should do the same thing the other one as well too now, wouldn't I? Well, yeah. Yes, indeed. Well, would you look at that? Would you look at that? I love it. Right, so I feel like you probably now will not have got this one. I feel like you should probably switch out the one in the chest here now, this time. And for fuck's sake, you should probably just charge you for a match, right? Not just itching your balls or whatever it's doing. And you could simply at least put in the head of the monkey now. 
having these ones over here because I'd say pay some some nice 50 gold if I had some uh, communism ugh. yep communism <laughs> left-wing fascism I don't know which one to go for right now should probably at least uh there you go uh, that you dope all right here we go. Uh, should be about good enough. Shrink the ever loving hell out of it. And right about here, some of this seems good. <laughs> At least, you know, let's say the little skull over here is definitely say, uh, about to be decorated. Or maybe at least the big, the, the highlight, you know, of being decorated and whatnot. Knee pad looks looks sick. I don't know about the other torso though. Hmm. Whatever. I don't know what the hell the damn thing the damn search thing is doing. It's just sitting there. Should I know I could actually just slap whatever if I feel like it. But you know what? Got myself a better idea. Now, between the SOCOM 16 with the VZ-58, right? I was thinking about maybe something like this in the VZ-58, because for one, let's be honest with you, I'm just going to think that uh, I played well, at least a small bit with it, uh, apart from the interesting parts, and also like uh, that unique uh, iron sight at best. Your side invisible too. Alright, clear protected. It does a pretty good job, but I'm not gonna lie. Reload is something else too. Of course the needle over there. I find it quite hard. shooting rounds. SOCOM 16, you might be wondering as well too now, right? Well, for that case, I don't blame you. Let's go for the SOCOM 16 then. It's basically the same thing as an M1 Garand, except much more updated. Much, much more rust than an M1 I have seen so far. So someone needs to Maybe one to maybe one to one to head, right? Yep, one to head. That was a pretty good gun nonetheless. Of uh, something from World War II. At least, I mean, it would, make, it would feel at least that the, uh, the magazines are pretty big, right? So it would feel. It's pretty 
good. I really like it. I feel like I'm probably going for the Circum 60. We have pretty much a dead giveaway as well, too. Since I mean we're doing the topic of seeing like gun testing, might as well just toss up a little something special, a little too, right? But you might be wondering, all too, what kind of specialities are we talking about, right? That's pretty simple, little too. That uh, I mean, I've been poking around, little too, with uh, with a kind of with a kind of guns and whatnot we have around. You got yourself the RPD, this uh, Forge 4 401, and a Passion Egg. But I mean, what the one that I tried, I mean, the shot so far, little too. I mean, the Forge 4 401 takes a cake. Want to know why? You'll see. Because, I mean, for one, I mean, out of the bunch, the Ford 401 has, like, a... How, how should I say? One of the best iron sights I... I used to say, try to fiddle around, though, too. Not to mention the fact they're also big and intimidating, though, too. I mean, look at this, look at these iron sights, too. Sure, of course, it becomes slower in the compensation, but, uh... It really got fucked up. Again, I mean, wonder what's my favorite part about this gun? Allow me to just, you know, shoot without stopping. In three, two, one. Oh, I fucked up a bit. It's to shoot, but uh, the best part is uh, to shoot. Don't move the mouth of that much, because you're. Uh, Again, I want to reload. Quite interesting to see, I must I say. Right, it doesn't work so too, I mean, if you're not as potent, they're gonna. Alright, but regardless, all too. It is what it is. And now let's see if I can probably get probably get myself in a quite a bit of a good fire fight. At least I'm using say something of level one, right? Because uh, the hat thing. Hmm. Right. Now just lay back and probably hope for the best, right? And again, I mean, if there even is, going to be good, because, uh, well, yeah, if you're going to be at least for one, I mean, if you're going to be at least for, uh, at least a mash, and at least make it the last one for now, I should probably do a little something to the little monkey's face over there. Uh, you know what? It's been, been around here sitting for quite a bit of a long while. I think, you know, it might be something like to do, like, their maintenance on the servers. Now, boom! I have to wait here now. Ah, uh, you know what? It's getting, it's getting late. And I can aim to sleep though too, so... Why don't we just go around and poke around with some new guns, right? The thing is, at least over here, at least you can, let's say, experience the fun of these guns without having the need to... I'm um, about to say, have the level for it all too. Pistols, submachine guns, you name it. 
don't know. I mean, the ones for the the red star thing, and I wonder why. Let's think about this little gun over here too, just for payday two sake, huh? <laughs> Shall we? Should I really wish you know that damn thing would just stay here? It would be a fucking amazing now, wouldn't it? Alright, now what other guns should we actually fuck around with? Well, these guns are what you expect it to be. Let's still shoot them nonetheless because hey, they're fun, aren't they? What is this PP1901? Looks like a Russian MP5. Feels like a Russian MP5. Any day now. A bit of, I've got a bit of a muzzle blaster. Yep, it's a Russian. MP5. I mean, you can't, you can't really have all these metal all to yourself. No matter how much you really wish that would be the case. Because it ain't. What else we got? MP7. I did your MP45. Huh. There's about some machine guns, I'd say. Which one should I go for now? This one that looks like a shotgun? Because it... Trust me, it really does look like a shotgun. It's AK-12. This looks like a shotgun. It feels like a shotgun. Right. So 
a rifle. Blip, blip. And as you want to know, out of the A5455, what? 545? Five. Oh, this thing. What the hell is this thing? Sort of a hybrid between a G3 and a and an AK. What the hell is this? It's a multiple coin. This thing is a business. I should say the shooting me is pretty good at all. Good, at least him at least Did I hit something? I would really need to level up before I could properly use these guns if any good. Get the fuck out of my way. Fuck off. I'm shooting here. Don't be dis don't be disrespectful. Good Christ. Right. Let's see, what else we got ourselves? We got like the uh, the Val. The new this was an assault rifle. But the more I know, this looks like a submachine gun to be honest. Is this right here? Alright, let's take this one over here to the uh, the shooting ground. It looks like a submachine gun. Oh, I've already shot this thing before. Never mind. <laughs> uh, I need to get more acquainted uh, with the guns and whatnot. Alright. Alright then. Alright. Alright then. What is this thing over here? The VHS two. Just to be honest, this thing looks more like a VHS player than anything else. Why oh, the sun like so? It's pretty loud, but it's pretty stable nonetheless. But if you think that the looks are bad, well, if we're gonna base ourselves on looks, then what about the Ash 12? They said that this thing looks like a shotgun. It feels like a shotgun just by looking at it, all too. I mean, just just look at it. It feels like a butt to, sh to shoot, let's say, 12 gauge out of this thing. Oh, no. 762 coming out of this, baby. That's uh, the problem is that. I mean, just it doesn't feel like a shotgun. T t just <laughs> I mean, just look at it. Just look at this thing over here. 
Uh, someone tell me like, like uh, so somebody showed me this to say if I didn't know what it was, and tell me the saw rifle. I'd say with a shotgun. But anyways, we see machine gun. We go for the shotgun then. I think the shotguns. I'm not gonna lie, they're pretty good as well too. Sadly as well too. I mean, only the uh, you, more unique guns. I mean, they're pretty tucked away behind a paywall. But nonetheless, I mean, it can be pretty fun at times, you know. Sure, I mean, I can actually get this one, like, see the next episode if I, if I feel like it. Yep, just as the bots do, right? Just as the bots do. Now, one thing I find funny about this gun, it has a select fire to it, so if I press Q, and there's like three bullets over there, right? Should be good for taking off, let's say, one guy. Okay, this is giving me have a. That one well. this over here, right? Might have tickled me back then, but, well, that's not how you use a shotgun. Maybe at times, I mean, might give, if you're lucky, you might get something, but, good Christ. Alright, what, what else we got for the shotguns? Yeah, they got like this one over here, which is a Benelli. It's basically the same thing as this one, but, I don't know. And they got also these ones all too, which they're pretty much, uh, let's say, magazine fat shotguns. Pretty good. I feel around with some of these. And the shooting range. There's a Remington over here. Never tried this one before. Is any good? Only one way to find out. Looks like one of the most basic guns I've ever seen. cup of tea, but, <laughs> well, okay then, at least feels a little weird, oh shit, there you go, right, what else we got, you know, the, the Spaz 12, like the, uh, unfolded stock version, this is catbird thing over here, I really want to see what it is, I feel like I got a, a little attachment for this over here, but, Okay. They'll saw it off, huh? What's that little delay of? Okay. Oh, I get it. job done. I'm sorry if I click around too much, I'm a little sleepy. That hurts a bit. But nonetheless, I mean, I'm still gonna show off a little too. I mean, at least you get a feel of it all too. 
South African neon, uh, South African shotgun. It's a pretty good one. Pretty unique design, I'd say. I'll go with that one after the spouse of the spouse well, which, and I'm gonna see uh, uh, that one in the queue for a long while. Right. This is gonna go so well, I'm sure of it. Yep, uh, definitely. Shotgun. Right. Just as you expect. I feel like you take like an M16 and made it to a shotgun. Interest, at least to me. Yeah, I guess I can fast check there. Not much, not, not necessarily. <coughs> nothing much new to it as well, too. There's the SVU over here, too. I'm sure, there's the, there's the SVD over there, but that gun didn't really get all my attention. And can someone tell me what the fuck are this? This is our these iron sights. It handles pretty well. SVD, right? It uh, didn't get all, all much of my uh, attention. I'll show you. I'll show you. It looks uh, impressive, doesn't it? Even a bit of a bad handling on my part, but I don't know. I might. <laughs> Against a, uh, it's a 
scopeless SVD. What else could I want? There's not really all that much, but hey. What else we got? The SKS MF. What's the difference between the one to the other one? That's what I want to know now. Sure, there's a level one, but hey. Kind of looks pretty cool. Iron sights are just a regular. Regular. This one, unless you really, really like the, the looks of it, then I don't know. <laughs> you got some sniper rifles too, though. Third M M82A1. That's one good. That's one beautiful gun. First off, I want to see about this gun over here first, which. You know, it looks pretty promising. Oh, it does. <laughs> They're protected, I know. Breakdowns, eh? Oh, definitely. Definitely, alright. Okay. Last but not least. I don't think so, boy. Right. What do we see about that one over there? Some of these doesn't look pretty promising. Beautiful scope and everything, but what the Remington could do better in some cases? I don't know. What about this one over here? Kinda wonder now. Whoa. What the fuck is this? And and Anti-tank rifle or what? Yeah, 
this feels more like an anti-tank rifle to be honest. Fireman. Hey, Fireman. Yes. Fireman is immune to fire. <coughs> oh, not immune to fisting. good rifle I'd say too. Let's see about the other ones well too. So this one here that's silenced as well too. Looks pretty promising. Looks indeed pretty promising as well too. Scopes pretty much all the same thing. Let's say. Okay, then. He likes to get a shotgun or what? something. Very, very interesting rifle. See, I know I mean since the, since the thing is not going to let me in, you know? <sighs> I hate when it does that, to be honest. It even like this gun over here, too. The leather. And that's like the M82 A1. I think Modern Warfare 1, to be honest. Our sights are essentially the same. Yeah, pay to win guns. We'll bleed out to death, but nothing so far. Alright, not bad. to be working pretty goddamn well, I'd say. Pretty goddamn well. And again, again. 
What's so special about this one over here and why does it have to be an abandoned? A gold paywall, eh? They use like human human skin on this guy. All right. God damn internet connection that fell off that fell off. Hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. I look forward to the next one. So I will see you guys next time and until then.